Hey everyone, and welcome to another LEGO Blender tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be talking about uh, animating a LEGO minifig head. So, uh, we're in LDRAW here, and this is for the minifig generator. We don't want a hat, and we want a, a standard head. We'll just go with that. Insert into current file. Okay, then. We're only dealing with the heads here, and again, um, we also want, so you want the standard, the pattern that we're going to be animating, and then we also want just a plain old head with no design. Okay, so now that we have those two elements, we're going to go to export, and we'll just put it to our desktop. And that's all we're going to do in Eldra. Now we're going to head on over to Blender. So here's our basic Blender setup. If any of these steps are unclear, feel free to ask for clarification. Um, so we're going to import Eldra. As I've shown you in previous tutorials, uh, this untitled one right here is where it saved us. As you can see, we have our two heads now. Uh, we only want, what we're going to do is we're going to get the pattern, so we're going to select a black face, and we're going to go into our materials, we're going to hit select, and we're going to hit W, select inverse, and delete all faces. Now one of our objects here is simply a face pattern. So, we are going to push this out just a little bit and I think that looks uh, pretty good can't really see it um, okay good enough good enough um, Okay, now for the uh, the real important part of the tutorial. To do our animations, our faces, we are going to use shape keys. Now we can get to shape keys here in our vertices panel. We're going to add a new shape key, and this is our basic shape key. Um, now we can't edit that shape key at all, so we kind of just ignore it. Here's another one. And Q1, um, so this, let's call this smile. So that's our basic face. Now we're going to add another one, and let's call it closed. Okay, so we have three shape keys ignore this basis one. Okay, so I'm going to go into edit. And this is all just very, very simple. We're not doing anything complicated here. And we're going to hit S and scale along the Z. Now, what? this is how shape keys work. So we have three shape keys. We have our smile, and we have closed. Then they have values. Shape keys have values that you can animate, and we'll we'll talk about that next tutorial. But if we want to close this guy's mouth, all we need to do is slide this up to 100 or one, and he's closed to his mouth. Pretty simple. Okay, so we've added a new shape key, and let's call this one, I don't know, I don't really have any uh, any real designs in mind while I'm doing this. We'll talk about more of that uh, in the next tutorial, but basically, you just go and you edit it as, uh, as you see fit. Um, 
that was a mistake. You want to keep symmetry. There we go. So at this point, I'm sure you get the idea of how all this goes down. So now we can get him to go, ooh, or whatever that is. Um, and you can do weird things. So we have a minifig whose mouth is now moving. So I think that's really all you need to know for this tutorial. Uh, pretty simple stuff, but shape keys are very powerful for, well, a number of different things, but they're just a really simple way to do uh, Lego face animations. So that's all for this tutorial. Uh, I hope you guys uh, learned something. Hope it wasn't too basic for you, and in the next tutorial, I will be going over um, facial animation for these LEGO guys, and it will be a little more rigorous, I guess you can say, as there's certain face shapes that we'll need to get, but yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed.